all of all nations, when the Banu Israel were chosen, they were chosen because when you get selected for something, that means you have a bigger responsibility than everybody else. That's what that means. If I get chosen for a job to be the manager, that means I'm more responsible than all the other employees. That's why my boss chose me. So if this nation was chosen, it's not just because they're, it's not because they're better or they're genetically superior. It's because they are now in a position to carry a greater responsibility and they are capable of carrying that responsibility because Allah never gives anyone a responsibility more than they can handle. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. So the same way Allah gave this nation a responsibility. And the responsibility was, I will give you my word, I will give you my book, I will give you my prophets, and you will show all the other nations of the world what does a nation look like when it's under the shade of Allah, when it's in the shade of Allah's book, when it lives by Allah's guidance. It's one thing, prophets live under Allah's guidance. A few of their followers live under Allah's guidance. But what does it look like when an entire nation lives under Allah's guidance? Your responsibility will, not to, will be not just to be an individual model, it will be to be a national model. So other nations will look at you and say, why are they like this? How come they have peace like nobody else? How come they have brotherhood like nobody else? How come they have mercy and family life like nobody else? How come they have more blessings than anybody else? Where did all of that come from? And humanity will flock towards the religion of Ibrahim salam, Because Ibrahim salam, when he was building the Kaaba, he wasn't building it for one nation. His dua was all people will turn towards it. And now his children at a national level, at the level of a nation, were supposed to become that model. Surah Al-Baqarah describes first that they were given that role to be the role model, to demonstrate to the world what it looks like to be under God's shade, to be under the shade of Allah. Then Surah Al-Baqarah describes how they messed up. In the Quran, wherever it mentions the descendants of Israel, Remember that these words are actually intended to teach Muslims. The Quran is not just a historical book. Through it, Allah is not only teaching us history, but also providing guidance for Muslims in every verse. Through them, Allah shows us what mistakes we should avoid and what kind of humiliation, sorrow, and suffering we will face in this world if we make those mistakes. When you examine the history of Muslims, you will see that we have a lot in common with the children of Israel. The mistakes they made, Muslims have made, and continue to make. Whenever you come across any verses about the children of Israel, ask yourself, aren't we making the same mistakes?